we noticed some awareness being raised in terms of uh, historical knowledge about people who fought similar struggles, right? Do you have any suggestions, you know, moving forward in terms of how we can amplify that and build more strongly in terms of identifying with other struggles and making the relationship uh, valid in terms of understanding that the, this is not new, you know, that it's happened before uh, and uh, historically and recently. And so how, how do we, uh, I mean, you're both professors, you know, how do, how do we build on that understanding so that uh, younger generations can see themselves not in isolation, right, but in a long line of struggle uh, that's gone on before them? I, I think, um, you know, unfortunately the Muslim community has not, was not very active and interacting with a lot of other minorities before 9-11, and that's, that's the truth, right? I remember when I was representing the Amadou Diallo case and uh, when we would have rallies and we have like, you know, 500,000 whatever, and you can barely see a Muslim around. It's not our issue. And, and I think uh, the Muslims learned the hard way, it is your issue. So, so I think now they are realizing that, you know, if it hurts other minorities, it will hurt us. I'm a big believer in uh, government, if government follows the lead of the people, and, and I think that's the way it should be. Uh, government is very good at trying to keep people following its lead. Uh, and Omar made mention of it, you know, I wouldn't want to be in Egypt right now. I wouldn't want to be in Zimbabwe. I wouldn't want to be in North Korea. I wouldn't want to be in People's Republic of China. There, the governments are absolutely positively way out, leading, scaring, uh, frightening the people into submission and into following. Where we need, wouldn't want to be in Syria either. What we need is for the people to take the lead, what Omar said, it is, it, this, these aren't gifts. These aren't, these aren't things that you, know, you have to really ask for. They're already yours. They're yours, they're mine, and organizing means getting people, working together, teach people, look, these are the rights, these are what we have, and together we can, make, we can get further, we can move the progress, if you will, than if we did it individually. 